How are we going, everybody? Now, yesterday I showed you how to prepare your tree for protection against codling moth. But like all plants, as we're going into springtime, a lot of active growth, and they're gonna be looking for nutrients in the soil. So today, we're gonna to fertilize. And what I'm doing here is removing the leaf mulch on top and some of the bark. You don't have to, but I like to, because I want my stuff when I add it to it, the compost and manures and fertilizers, whatever you wanna add, uh, to get right down below straight away. I don't need to layer this. Now, there is a couple of things you gotta factor in when you're deciding whether to pull the mulch away or not. It's the type of mulch you have, the age of the mulch, if it's breaking down already, let me grab a handful, look at this. So that's my soil and my bark in there. So that's active. There's a lot of good organic matter in there and you know, microbes kicking in and doing their job and obviously the chickens coming along and digging around and leaving their manures in there as well. So if you've got a thick layer of mulch in your garden bed, it's advisable to pull that away or under your trees that is, so you can apply your fertilizer, whichever choice you have there. If the mulch is aging, you can leave it there and just layer on top of it. So you add your compost. In this case here, I don't need to add any compost because the soil's really good. Can I also mention one other thing? Because a lot of emails come through when it comes to fertilizing trees and they're saying, well, how can I fertilize? When can I fertilize? And how far do I fertilize? You don't fertilize close to the trunk. Yes, sweetheart, I'm patting you. You don't fertilize close to the trunk. So we work about a foot away or thereabouts, 20 centimeters from where my rake is from the trunk outwards. You don't need to feed here, and if you put in compost or manures, it's even more dangerous when you put it too close to the trunk, because sometimes we may heap it up unwillingly or un, you know, un, without purpose, uh, mound it up to the trunk and cause it to start ring barking it or burning it, if, especially if it's a manure that's still a little bit fresh. We don't know how old it is but just by looking at it. Um, so always play caution or practice caution, 20 centimeters away from the trunk and as far as the canopy reaches, and if you've got room, a little bit further. The tree's roots do not stop there. They're not, if you've got a tree band around the base like a little concrete ring for feature, that's just a feature, but that's not, that's not a guide to where to fertilize. That should actually be a guide to where not to fertilize. Feed outside here. And what I'm gonna put here, I recommend everybody, if you've got really bad soil, get your compost. We've got some great compost online, you can check it out. Um, but if you're not needing to put compost, then just grab yourself some superfood. This is our amazing, amazing fertilizer that we have organic, that is, made by the soldier fly larvae, uh, turned into a frass like, and it's got so many beneficial properties in here, especially the, uh, the bacteria and the microbes that we're talking about, but it's also enhanced with black grit. Now, black grit will improve the uptake of nutrients in the soil, will improve the flowering, will improve the growth rate on the tree, and will improve its ability to resist or uh, defend itself, I should say, against disease and insect attack. Codling moth is a tough one, the bigger insects, but we're talking small ones, little ones that attack the leaves. Not so much on apple trees, but in your veggie garden, for example, especially in the winter nights, it actually helps a plant uh, defend itself against the cold wintry nights and obviously the hot days. Now, superfood, it is rich, you only need a, uh, 70 grams per square metre, which is basically a handful like that. Now a square metre, crazy, this is it. Nuts, isn't it? But I can't do that either. I agree, I don't, I can't. The science behind it says that's all you need. To me, my eyes say, I need two. That's me. <laughs> so you can do it like that. This is the Black Grid Enhanced. You can get superfood straight on its own in a bag as well without the black root, because I know thousands of you, I won't say hundreds of you, have got black root already in the cupboard. So just get the superfood on its own and throw that around the base and then you can put your black root on top. There we go. So this is a 950 gram bucket. I've put 150, 200 grams, no. I've put half a bucket, that's 450 grams. So that's divided by, that's five, seven fives, do the sum. Somebody come and get a calculator out. <laughs> My brain's frozen. Um, six square meters. I've done probably four. Okay, so that's what I've put on here, about 400 grams in four square meters, 100 grams per square meter. So I'm close to the mark there. So folks, if you're gonna get some, something into your garden, you gotta get some superfood with the Black Red Enhance. It's available on our website, vasilisgarden.com. And trust me, when they come into flower and fruit, and you get so much of it, you'll be thanking me. Check it all out, vasilisgarden.com. From me, Vasily, Maresi. Well,